Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time being here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and if you are returning, it's great to see you again. I'm so happy that I'm able to be back here and record this video for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking about Saturn Warren Direct, which is happening this evening, tonight. Um, let's see. Excuse the background noise. I have some neighbors. They are outside, hanging out, having a good time. So, um, I am just going to... Uh, share a little bit about what I've been doing. I had to take a break for a little while. I um, had decided that I was going to stop. Um, I'm sorry, my son's right there. I had I took, it was going to stop and take some time to focus on my family, to really get grounded in my family life, to really be as present as it is that I needed to be in order for to be as grounded as I needed to be. Like I can only really give from as much as I am really cultivating for myself here at home and my family. And this is my foundation first and foremost before anything, you know. So I am happy to be able to be back present here and offering these readings to you all. So, Today, Saturn goes direct, and I'm wondering how things have been for you guys since, what, I believe, March or February? I believe I have to check and see when um, the timing that Saturn has been in, um, has been in has been retrograde. I thought I had written it down. It looks like I have not, but it's fine. We're just gonna pull it up right here because we are on the computer and I'm going to get into this. So, oh, okay. So this has been since May. Um, so I just want to encourage you to take some time to think back like what has come up for you since May up until now, things that you realize that haven't been working for you. Um, like perhaps you have begun um, building on things in the past two years or so because Saturn is about to come out of Capricorn. Come, So, you know, what are the things that have been coming up for you? Where have you been feeling very stifled. It's, I'm going to go over it by sign um, what houses that these that this has happened in and pull a couple of cards for each sign. Um, but I suggest you uh, pay more attention to your rising sign. And if you don't know your rising sign, um, I encourage you to go and look that up or leave a comment and I'll let you know where you can go and find that. Um, so today the moon is in Pisces as Saturn is going direct. So we might be feeling a very so sobering effect to our mind, you know, how it is that we've been perceiving things, where it is that we've kind of been allowing fog to, um, overthrow our, our sight that is, has more clarity to it. Um, so let's see this may also um bring a sobering effect to the emotions and i wrote some stuff down which is something i'm trying to do something new so i don't miss anything and that i uh, am able to give y'all all the information that you need to have so really quickly i'm just gonna smudge a little bit to clear the air, clear the energy. So you can also kind of ground into the space it is that you need to be into to receive, ask whatever questions it is that you um, would like to ask about your life right now and let what you receive here um, serve you. This is cedar. So it offers protection and clearing of negative energies and it calls in higher, higher spirits to support you as you're moving through all of your things. 
So um, what we've had with Saturn going retrograde, it has brought a lot of um, a lot of delays. So wherever Saturn has been retrograded for you, you may have been experiencing a lot of delays. But what this has really been is a, like a time that has created space for us to be able to see where it is that we need to correct things, where it is that we have missed on applying the details to the structure that is needed to support it. So this is basically giving us um, time to kind of slow down and recognize where it is that we're actually moving too quickly you know where it is that we actually need to kind of pause and take a break and recalibrate and reconsider the things that we are choosing the steps it is that we're choosing to take are we really doing what it is that we desire to do are we really in alignment with the goals that we desire with what it is that we're trying to achieve for our lives for um our legacies for our livelihood you know what makes us feel good and successful that we have made it in a sense whatever it is that that means for you you know uh, because this is all about the long term we are concerned on what it is that i'm sorry people out here excuse the car um you know we are concerned with what it is that's going to be long lasting that's going to be long term and making sure the details are clear in what it is that is being manifested that there are no holes in a sense in our foundation so this is, you know, we are moving into a space of creating, making our dreams come to life, you know, whatever fantasies it is that we have been kind of embodying and being in um, or desiring to embody and be in, you know, wild fantasies, dreams and things of that nature. And you know spirit is really involved in this so it's coming from a really pure place unless it's coming from a place of manipulation a place of glamour and trying to um create something that is basically trying to get something in a way that is misleading that is um that is fogged and uh kind of has this this glamour effect over it. I don't know if you've ever watched True Blood, but you know, the vampires, they can glamour people into getting what it is that they want. That's the same, that's the exact same energy. So, um, let's see. We're also ending obsessions with things and also any addictions that we have been holding on to. This can be anything. Don't um, correlate addictions to drugs or alcohol. This can be watching tv too much this can be drinking too much soda this can be too much being caught in our mind when we really need to be in our heart. you know letting our heart and mind align itself so these things are those aspects are gonna be more so coming into alignment and effect between november 14th and november 18th when um that energy of recognizing our dreams and what it is that we want on like a on a fantastical scale like from the 14th to the 28th because neptune and mars will be going direct so mars is going to bring this quick action like okay you've been doing the work have you been doing the work you've been doing what you've been within okay so let's go ahead and bring it out to the world or to your reality whatever you know and when when uh, Neptune goes direct, this is like any way that we've been deceiving ourselves or basically like in the space of self-sabotaging, um, that's coming to an end. But we, this will also bring closure to um, any of the patterns that we have been holding onto on a mental level that have been created through our emotions. You know, in the Mars movement, once it goes direct, it'll be quick. Um, this is something that you've possibly began in the past four months or something that you have been 
thinking on or something you've been correcting in the past four months, um, you will, you should have come November 14th, the insight that you have gathered from being internal, being within, working out, working things out, burning up uh, what no longer can live and carry you, things that weigh you down, like giving the, giving letting go what needs to be thrown into the fire and being done with it you know now i do want to say don't get into the space of thinking that these things are going to happen overnight everything is a process it's progress you know step by step day by day granted with neptune and mars in the picture come november things can come a little bit quicker but we should be ready for that with um, Saturn having gone direct. So now we're going to get into uh, by sign what's going on with everyone. I'm going to pull um, an astrology card and a oracle card. Let's see what cards am I going to use? Hmm. I think some cats out here fighting me off. Like going hard. Um, I'm gonna use these. Maybe I'll roll dice. No, I'm gonna use these. <laughs> I should have decided, but we're gonna start off with Aries and work our way through the Pisces. Holy Spirit, thank you for the sound space in this place. Thank you for the ability and the gracious gift of being here, being present today being able to experience the world this time these transitions that we are currently in i ask that you speak clearly as i connect it with my ancestors and my guides and you speak through me clearly and give each of the people who are watching this video the insight it is that they need, the guidance it is that they need, the clarity it is that they need in order to move forward securely. Be open, vulnerable in who it is that they are. Thank you for the prosperity. Thank you for the love. Thank you for... Thank you for everything. So I also want to talk about really quickly with Saturn being retrograde and having gone direct with everything that's been going on in the world, things have kind of slowed down. So it's it's important for us to kind of be aware that things are about to speed back up to go back up the mountain so we can come back down and be done with. But we first have to get over these things. They all get over all of this energetic capacity that we are holding or that we are just really in i won't even say holding but even also within ourselves because what's going out and going on in the world is also a reflection of what's going on here but on a more collective scale so this is where we are collectively as a people and all of these things Yes, this is where we are collectively, so we can take a look at where it is that we've kind of fell back, faulted on ourselves, and do what it is that we need to do, change, so that we can change the energetic expression and frequency that exists out here in the world, you know, and really get in the space of taking responsibility for what it is that we are supposed to do here, you know, being in our space. And with everything going on, We've really had the time to do that, but with things having changed so quickly, I know that it can be difficult to um, really find or really be able to trust and have the faith that this is going to work out. Granted, things are not going to look the same as they did before, but we will make it and whatever comes will be better than what was before. It will just take time to adjust. It's kind of similar to from being single to getting in a relationship with someone. You have to learn how to operate 
in a whole new way because you're coming together with with another person combining you with them you know so okay let's get into aries so aries this has happened saturn has been in your 10th house for the past two years you have been you have really been working things when it comes to your career your public image um you may have been dealing with things when it comes to government structures, things that you were trying to manifest, the details of your life and what it is that you want that to look like, you know, and really just being able to correct in a sense so that you can uh, feel, get, feel fulfilled in what it is and where it is that you're headed in your long-term goals. Um, Aries may have been outside of Capricorn have been affected the most in this because Saturn is in its home 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 house right and it's home planet and it's home house you know so it's like it's been very imperative for you to be in this space of getting you together so that you can show up in the way in which it is that you desire so that you can achieve what it is that you want Right, so Aries, this Saturn direct, you are, you have the Knight of Wands here. So the Knight of Wands means that you're going to be taking inspired action. You've already um, have begun something, and this is going to continue from here on out as long as you continue to trust, right? Because you have the keepers of the earth here. The keepers of the earth basically tell you that your ancestors on your side, you have spiritual support. You have they, you have people, entities, angels, guides unseen that are there to support you as long as you believe or you, you call on them when you need them, when you don't have the answers, when you're unsure, simply check in, you know, so you're going to continue to build upon the space within yourself, you're going to continue to want to show up in the way that you want to be seen by others. This can also um, talk about Perhaps you're working on being a boss of something of your own. Perhaps you are dealing with your bosses, you know, or perhaps you are concerned about seeing where it is that you need to hire people to help you out because the workload is large because 10th house matters are large, you know, they're large and long lasting. They bring conglomerates, you know, so let's get into Taurus. I hope that was helpful, Aries. Taurus, this has been happening in your ninth house. So this is about the truth for you. This is about alignment to your journey, to your path. You know, going within and taking the time to really see what it is that you believe and why is it that you believe that? Why do you think that? What structures have created these beliefs and have these beliefs been serving you? You know, have they been grounded and rooted in truth? Does that really speak to who it is that you truly are and not who it is that you've been told that you should be? You know, and this is really all about um, heart and mind alignment and perhaps you have been trying to connect with someone at a distance and that is about to take place or perhaps someone has been trying to connect with you and you don't know because they've been blocked based out of this energy so that is about to happen Taurus you got the emperor the emperor is a force stability foundations these beliefs these these changes that you have made, these shifts that you have made in your beliefs is bringing you into your authority, your own personal authority, feeling comfortable and speaking up of who it is that you are and being in that, you know, feeling comfortable and safe and speaking up of who it, of what you believe in, you know, and living in that really. I want to say don't be too rigidy about what it is that you choose because with the emperor coming up um, or how you choose to show up because with the emperor coming up with this having to do with Saturn and Capricorn that can be rigid stay on the optimistic side know that you are capable you know that all things are possible with the work right because with Saturn it, it's about the work so you have the council of light divine orchestration helpers in subtle realms so just like 
Aries, spirit is here with us, y'all, like supporting us and helping us push through whatever it is that we feel like that we are not capable of, not, you know, all you have to, you, you have the authority. It's just uh, important that you believe this, you know, continue to take whatever actions it is that you've been taking. Let this transformation really take you to whatever heights it is that you're headed into, you know, and, and, and do that effortlessly by knowing, by feeling that you can, that you have it already within you. You know, it's bad. I know that with this time that has come up, um, it can be difficult to believe that, it, you know, like, am I sure? But that's what the ninth house is all about. It's about having faith, you know, things may have changed a lot with, um, just your life you know and just having to have had faith in what it is that has been coming about and trusting that your journey is meant for you in the way in which it is that it's happening you know uh, but you have really been supported by your team that you can't see you know so Gemini I hope that was helpful Taurus Gemini you have uh, Capricorn in the eighth house Gemini so the eighth house is basically, this is about debt, this is about shared resources, this is about union, it's marriage, it's intimate relationships of the sexual nature and the platonic nature. You know, this is about karma, this is bloodline stuff, this is ancestry, this is about the occult speculation and research to get down to the bottom of what it is. Um, that needs to happen or why it's happening how what, what are the details of this you know so um maybe some secrets have been revealed about yourself maybe some hidden things have come to light in all of this but things are changing what how however things have been manifesting for you whatever has been delayed if you needed to get out alone go ahead and try to do that now um if you needed to connect with family, do that now. If there are things that have been coming up about your fam, uh, about yeah. your, about your ancestry, things you've learned about yourself based off your bloodline. Um, thank them. Be grateful, no matter what it was, and let it be. You know, because there is no changing the past. Like we can accept it and let it make us. You know, let it transform us to integrate it. So. What? So the cards that you got, Gemini, is the Eight of Swords. So um, I'm going to say that with Saturn going direct, that you are coming into the space of seeing clearly that you are not the victim, um, that you are truly capable and in control of your reality, you know, and it, it's it starts, I don't want to say it starts in the mind, but it, it does in a sense, right? And, and all this, this, this mind-boggling energy that makes you feel like that there's no way out when in reality, the Age of Swords, you're blinding yourself. But now the truth has come about because with Saturn having been in reversal, right, a lot of deep stuff has been coming up. The eighth house is the is darkness. It's the depths of who it is that we are, what it is that we experience, you know, on a level that is unseen. Sometimes things that can only be felt it can be at times hard to put to words. We're not wanting to put to words because the eighth house is, is very secretive. It's like, ooh, I don't want to tell that. You know, it's even of taboo nature things. So perhaps you've been into those things and feel like, oh, I can't be myself, you know, but you can. And the oracle says, yes, trust it. You can do this. Whatever is coming, whatever you've been planning, whatever you've been doing, it's going to last. You have to trust it. You have to go with it. Whatever relationships you have begun, whatever um, businesses you have started building, whatever streams of income you have created, continue doing that. Although things have been seeming to slow down, and all of that with things are now beginning to move forward. So it's important to trust that 
you are always guided you are always protected and everything is always happening as it should as long as when you're in this space in this here and now you are taking the steps it is that need to be taken in order to manifest the reality the future it is that you want for your life right so okay Gemini. so next we have cancer cancer you had saturn retrograde in the seventh house so this is about relationships this is about work marriage this is about any type of contracts harmony that you feel within yourself the love that you have for yourself the seventh house is about other people but you can't really give people any type of genuine love without loving yourself you know you can't give from an empty cup you can't even give from a cup that's half full you know you really have to be present and aware of how it is that you're showing up you know it's all about balance you know give and take so libra oh libra you got the star you got some wishes coming libra seven houses libra cancer you have some wishes coming through you have some things coming through um feeling more blissful in life feeling more light in life really maybe you can focus on the community um Maybe you focus on the future. All these things are starting to come about for you. Like the star card is like, hey, I made it. I'm here and let me enjoy this in peace. You know, 25, 27, 9. Oh, cycles are ending. Um, whatever karma that has been holding you back from being able to have uh, prosperous relationships it's done like you are moving into that space of having that and it is all about how it is that you choose to show up in that so yeah inner temple all this time that you've been within whatever work it is that you have been doing within it's coming out continue to do that continue to be in your heart move from a heart space move from love do what it is Take the steps it is that you know that need to be taken. Listen to your intuition in order to continue to cultivate this star energy. You know, this is willfulness. You know, you make it happen and celebrate. Don't be in a space of, um, of you know, how sometimes we'll, we'll get something and then we'll be like, oh, are we going to continue? Is this going to last? Am I going to continue to be able to have this and make this happen? Yes, you can. Celebrate it. Every, everything that you gain, everything that happens, celebrate it. Everything is meant to be celebrated, no matter how small it is. Love it. Love yourself. So, next I hope that was helpful, Cancer. Next, we have Leo. Leo, this has been in your sixth house. So, sixth house, the house of routines, rituals, habits, pets. Okay, this is about our work, like people who we work with, people who we work for. This might be if you're, if you have a business, this might be the type of employees that you have, right? Um, this may also be your co workers. This is also about organization and details, your day-to-day -day life and how you've been going about that. You may have been feeling really stuck in being able to put, get any routines working for you, you know, just not being in the space of feeling the flow, being in the flow, being able to make the flow happen. So let's see what the cards have to say. This is also the house of service. So if you've been trying to do any type of service or into anything, it may have been um, stifled. It may have taken a step back, right? So you have page of swords. And the page of swords basically means like you need to move forward. Move forward in your truth. Be who it is that you are. Trust that you know and whatever it is that you don't know will come. There, if, you need, if there's a teacher you need, that'll show up in whatever form. You know, if there's something, whether that's a book, whether it's an actual person, whether it's a random clip on TV, you can learn from any space, anywhere, anytime. You know, it's not, it's not limited. 
um, you have so many ideas, right? So continue to cultivate that and um, figure out what it is the best ways for you to do that. Stop. The sixth house is also about critical things, criticizing things. So with having Capricorn in the sixth house, you may be very critical of yourself. It's time to stop that, you know, believe in yourself. Don't let your mind go. Let your mind, you are the ruler of your mind. Your mind is not really you. It's important that you believe that, that you trust that, and you know that. You do you have the capability to be able to put your focus on where focus needs to be and not just being all over the place, you know? So, let's see. Oracle says you're working a new age. Yep, this is new, new thought, new way of moving, new, new, almost a new sense of direction in a sense, like doing things, doing the same thing, but in a new way. All right, so this is something that has to be built, something that's going to take time. And you have to trust that this time, you have to trust the timing of things, especially with Capricorn. Um, it wants things done methodically. It wants you to take, it wants you to go slow. It wants you to make sure um, your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. There is no stone that can be left unturned, right? Because especially when it comes to like work, working for other people, being in service, your day-to-day -day life, like things have to fully align in order for it to go in a way that feels right for you. So it's really all about being in that energy and enjoying it. And perhaps you may be getting a new pet or um, finding some new things to do with your pets. Perhaps you and your pet have been having some type of uh, psychic communication that is showing you that you need to treat them better or treat them differently or do something differently for their health your health right because six houses the health and health is house of health as well so you can also um and perhaps even having some health issues when it comes to how it is that you've been thinking about yourself or thinking about the world that's getting better as well that's going to change so i hope that was helpful leo now we're off to virgo Virgo, 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 you've been in fifth house, Virgo. This is about your self-expression, your innocence, your creativity, your childlike nature, you know, your joy. Did I say children? I'm not sure. I'm going to say children again. This is also um, what it is that you're known for, kind of like your fame. It doesn't have to be any large scale, anything. When it comes to astrology, uh, 20 people can know you, you're famous, right? Um, this is also about the courage it is that you have, your creativity, your love and romance relationships. Perhaps you have started something new during this time or tried to be in a space of fixing what it is that has been going on, um, clearing and recognizing how it is that you've been self-sabotaging your own relationships that really you have control of how it is that they manifest based on how it is that you show up. You know, because it's all about what it is that we choose, right? So you got the ten of wands, time to let go of the burdens. It may have been a lot of extra people, a lot of extra opinions that really haven't served you in a way that really have been making your life much harder than it is that needs to be, right? And this is because you have chosen to take to, to do this kind of be in this self the space the fifth house is about love it's a leo house right and leo is pure love it's from it, it it rules the heart you know so um these are the things that we feel very strongly about and when we do that we're generous we're giving you know but it's in, but it, and it's because you're devoted you know you you love to support others but do not let whatever um has become ruin this lovely nature it is that you have in order to be supportive of another you know maybe um 
maybe it's time for you'll be connecting with some type of teacher or maybe you'll get into some type of spiritual knowledge that is going to help you lighten your load really let go of the burdens not just let them go physically but internally right because when we when we grasp onto something physically it, it becomes an emotional and mental exercise like it in order to continue to do something over and over it has to make an imprint in us in some kind of way and it does that within through our mind through our heart through our bodies it it, it creates a type of frequency it creates a um what's the word i can't even think of it right now but we can say that it creates a type of frequency that you can tell the pattern right, that you hold on to that continues to have things go as they have been. My computer is about to die. One moment. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. So, Virgo, I hope that that was helpful. Now we are moving on to Libra. Oh, my camera blew out. I'm just sliding this the uh, see there so I know. I'm about to get into Libra. So Libra, this has been in the fourth house for you. This is the house of the home, the family, the mother, you know, maybe some um there may have been a lot of karmic things that you've been or more so things that you've been hold held on to when it comes to the relationship with your family. All right, and this is also about and how it is that that goes about affecting our in your inner world. You know, perhaps that has been a lot of healing, and you'll recognize how that has stopped you from being able to really achieve the foundational the the life it is that you desire when it comes to your stability, your security. You know, um, in like really just feeling at home within yourself, within the people around you, and recognizing the influences that have basically influenced you to be where it is that you are today, how it is that these structures have laid down your ability to gain the stability and all of those things that um, you really desire out of life. This can be a relationship, you know, this can be a family if you were, if that's what you're looking for, you know, your heritage, how, what, did, what does that mean for you? How, and what has come up that has needed to be moved through in order, kind of like very focused on the details, the inner world, the ancestry, the because this is an ancestral house as well. This is also things of the mother, the relationship with the mother, and how that went for you. And possibly, you may have been in the space of doing a lot of forgiving, you know, others, and or perhaps forgiving yourself for um, the mother energy that you have been carrying. If you are feminine, you know, this is also about your emotional frequency. Where have you been? Have you been mature in your emotions or have you been operating from a very immature um, space, like almost like a manipulative nature in order to find opportunity with in a way that is going to provide you with these things, you know? And sometimes we don't recognize where we do that. And that is what... Um, this retrograde has allotted for that to be seen, for that to be witnessed, but it's clear you've been doing the damn thing, right? Because 
here you have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles basically says that, you know, you are nurtured, you are abundant, you are capable of creating and being in the space for everything it is that you need. It's just, you have to believe it. If no one believes it, you have to believe it. The Queen of Pentacles, this is Capricorn card. Like you are really, it lives in you. So whether you're aware of it not or not, which you, this time, this Saturn retrograde, it should have given you space to be able to recognize where it is that this lives in you. You know, you should be able to grab life by the horns and be like, hey, this is me. You know, because this is also your, this space also represents your ability to influence others. What is it that people recognize you as? How do they see you? And what do you bring to their world of benefit? in a sense because that's really what influencers do so and perhaps you bring something very rich very luxurious something very stable to others and they see you in that light and perhaps maybe you didn't see yourself there either way whatever it was for you you are now in the place where you are cultivating and going to be able to live out this queen of pentacles you're really going to be able to plant the seeds and let them grow flourish yeah unbound unbound releasing releasing soul patterns contracts past lives that's fourth house that's all fourth house really getting to the truth really recognizing who it is that you are and what it is that you're capable of don't take this too seriously. Have a little bit of fun. Laugh it off. Reminisce. Know that you are capable and able. Know that these things are only ghosts. They don't hold, they don't dictate your life or anything like that. You know, so really just let this this old stuff go. And if you haven't already, you will continue to move in a way that moves you away from that so it's like you don't no longer need to talk about what you're leaving behind and what no longer exists in your life you just need to do it and when you do it <laughs> your life is gonna flourish in that fourth house energy perhaps you get into a relationship with somebody who you are ready to build a family with or perhaps you're already with that person and it's a whole new world all of a sudden you know that's gonna happen right you about to have new relationships with women um really rich fulfilling uh decadent relationships if that even if that's even uh, a possibility which i know it is so. next we have scorpio libra i hope you were helpful scorpio this has been in your third house. So the third house is all about communication. It's about perspective. It's about childhood learning. Um, it's about what it is that you think you know. And most of the time, the things we think we know is something that we learn from somebody else giving us what it is they think we should know. <laughs> okay, so um, this is also about our immediate families, short travels. This is about our small businesses that we're building, if that's a thing for you. This is also about siblings. What perhaps your relationships with your siblings have been changing over some time. This is about messages coming through, messages from spirit, messages from others, receiving guidance and what it is that direction it is that you need to take going forward kind of thing the sun has set you guys so it's a little bit darker than it was before but i hope it might get a little bit darker but it's fine i got this candle here let me put it up under okay <laughs> let's put it here okay so let's see all right Scorpio, you got the Ten of Wands too. So it's time to release the burdens, whether, or you're moving away from the burdens, moving away from people's opinions, perceptions, ideals that don't necessarily serve you. Learning to communicate in a new, more authentic way that's not um, stressed out, that's not burdened by 
the woes of the world or those that surround you, you know? This is also um, about just letting things go and moving into a place where you can do what it is that you want to do, so, to listen to your own intuition, to listen to your own sense of self, you know, and really cultivate what it is that that means for you. Um, cultivate what that life looks like for you. Hold on, y'all. My camera trying to go out of me. Okay. Let's set up a little block. Hello. <laughs> Let me try to the window. See what the oracle has to say. So where are you being called to journey to? Something has had some kind of delay. You've been able to see where it is that you've kind of been stifling yourself and the decisions it is that you've been choosing to make based off of the thoughts it is that you hold within your mind. You know, so this is going to be something that you are learning for yourself that you're going to be able to share with others. Some type of, um, when, especially when it comes to being authentic being authentically you, communicating from an authentic space. Perhaps now you have these messages that you wanna share with others in regards to what it is that you now know to be the truth based off what it is that you once believed to be the truth, you know? Perhaps even your relationships with your family is about to change or if you have a small business, you are about to do this on your own right instead of um taking in what it is that others have to say whatever it is that others think you should be doing right in whatever way it is that you think you should be doing it like these new thought patterns that you have been establishing over this amount of time is now going to serve you in moving forward right because this is these are long lasting things it's a long term thing you know, you don't just, when it Capricorns involved, you don't just get from A to Z and hop. It's letter by letter, step by step. It's practical. It's grounded. It, it's, it's sure. It's clear. It's, you know, and that's where your mind is. You're very sure of what it is you want, how you want it to be, where it is you're going, what you want your relationships to look like with other people and how it is that you want them to feel and what it what it is that you desire to allow them to place on you based on what it is that you're choosing to take in really right because no one can actually put anything on you you we always choose to assume a role we choose to assume a thought to align to a belief and we don't know if that works until we do you know so scorpio i hope that that was helpful now we're going to say that you have the second house so y'all is getting so dark out here i mean we have to get a light input right here because this is when i'm going to be re recording my videos and so sag second house this is the it's capricorn Ooh, all right, Sam, you got a lot to say. We're not pulling all these cards, though. So I'll keep these in mind. Sag, you've been having a lot of things in regards to your self worth, just almost feeling, not feeling valued <coughs> in a sense. Um, Maybe you haven't really been able to tap into your pleasure the way you want to really um, experience life in the feel good manner that you normally go about doing that. And Saturn retrograde has shown you that you are worthy. If only you can be patient, you know, and, and do the work. Um, perhaps money has been something if you the gains that you make on your own that may have been a thing that you have had some trouble with in trying to really manifest the trying to have things and not being able to get them but that's because there's been some 
place that you still haven't seen yourself as worthy of having whatever it is that you want and what you have Sag is something huge like Capricorn is big money all right it's not little money it's not change <laughs> it's not pocket change if it's not that five dollars twenty dollars that grandma give you on your way out the door this is big things popping right so you're going to learn how or you're moving into the space of being able to really juggle things um hold many things really able to be there and be here right but without being in this double-minded space so this is basically like, are you, this money is coming in. These, these material things that you've been trying to achieve are coming in. You are about to come out of this place of insecurity it is that you've been feeling, whether that's something that you've been trying to build, you've been trying to move, you've been trying to make, whatever it is that this has been, it is really offering you something that, um, is not going to be easily taken away from you. And this is even in relationships because second house is the house of union. It's a house of bonds, you know, that love, um, that, I mean, seventh house, eighth house is marriage house, but so is the second house. So know that all these things have not been in vain. Everything happens for a reason, the unfolding, the ever unfolding roles, these things have been happening, whatever they may have been, to facilitate your growth, to facilitate your stability and security within yourself so you can know who it is that you are and what it is that you desire in your life. You know, how, what makes you feel good? Well, you first had to go through whatever it is that's been holding you back in being able to just feel good like it's time to feel good you can you can do the things it is that you want to do it is commitment you're gonna have to be committed to it you know it's not a one hit of so I hope that was helpful sage capricorn this has been in your first house capricorn these last two ten year Pluto, Capricorn, I mean Saturn, Jupiter, been in your sign, you know, and really just making waves. You a completely different person, you know. You are identifying completely different than what it is that you once were, you know, your overall health may be um shifting, you know how it is that you the projections it is that you've been going about placing on others out of whatever insecurities it is that you've been feeling about yourself that is coming to an end you're about to start moving differently ace of wands doing things differently starting something new and whatever or if you're doing something already doing this in a brand new way right and taking your time it's about to come full circle for you things don't happen quick be patient you know, but I don't have to tell you that you are Capricorn and you're a sign of patience outside of truth and Virgo. You know, like the bosses of patience. You know, you have been having to do this thing on your own, right? And kind of being your own support in a sense. But you haven't been alone. You're never alone. Never alone spirit is always there supporting us in the directions it is that we choose to take in the choices that we choose to make, whether they're right or wrong for us, you know, right? So you're coming unbound, like the group, leaving the past in the past. Not it's no longer you're no longer going back to the old things that you were once doing. You know, you're not expressing yourself in that same way. You are not showing up in that same way. You're not looking the same way. You know, you're taking better care of yourself. You're, both, you're taking better care of your health. You're not worried about the past and what it is, how it is that the past now has created this future that you've had some issue with. Like, that's an illusion because the only thing that really affects us right now is what we're doing 
in this moment. <laughs> you know, we can blame the past all we want, but it only is a thing if we're still holding on to it, you know? So, let's see. This light is all the way up that made it darker. Okay, there's a little light. <laughs> So let us cap. I think I hope that that was helpful. Um, and don't feel any kind of way that you know. Perhaps you've been wanting to connect in a sense, but right now it's really all about you and what it is that you need to be doing for yourself. How it is that you need to be doing it for yourself, and what it is that that looks like coming from yourself. You know, so that you can no longer be in this space of thinking that people are seeing you in some kind of way when in reality they're probably not even thinking about you and if they are they're probably thinking very highly of you Capricorn because let's be honest you just go <laughs> literally like who you know like what animal you know can walk up a mountain vertically tell me the seagull who what animal is existent on land and can dive deep into their emotions. Not many. The, the emotional capacity that you have most could not bear experience. They might die. <laughs> and I mean that because it, 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 it gets heavy for Capricorn because it's so intense, you know? But all things, all things in time. So, I hope that was helpful. Aquarius, Aquarius, you have had Saturn in retrograde in the 12th house. So this is of your subconscious mind. This is of your sleep, your bed pleasures. This has been of your spirituality, your boundaries that you either have or don't have. A lot of things coming up that have been hidden from hidden from you. Any type of hidden enemies that you had um, that you weren't aware of probably came to light recently. Um, people who you thought supported you really don't in the way you thought they did. This is also you being very tied to the collective energy, you know, and what that means. Like you, Aquarius of all people, you probably really feeling this Saturn energy. Right, because you are experiencing it. You are already a sign of community. You're a sign of other people and philanthropy and humanitarianism. Right. So you're already very much so about the people. And outside of being about the people, this Saturn has been in your 12th house and you may have been feeling disconnected from people, feeling very detached, even more detached than you already had. I probably not having been able to relate to this perspective that people have been holding, you know, but at the same time, this has been giving you, this has given you a chance to really see why, why do I think like this? Why do I even feel like this in the first place? You know, and this may have a lot to do with things that you have been holding on to what we consider karma, you know, that has come with you from past lifetimes, things that have been needing to be rectified in order for you to really be fulfilled in your present and current life, right? So let's see what the cards have to say, Aquarius. We've got the hang point. So you are letting go of what no longer needs, what, what, what's holding you down, what's bogging you down, what's keeping you in a place of illusion. It's time to surrender to or you will i should say you will be surrendering to what it is that must be done like this is pisces this is the 12th house you know these prisons are coming undone you're coming upright this really should be turned this way right because you're coming out of this of not being able to see clearly um of uh, misinterpreting other people and other people misinterpreting you out of their projections of who it is that you are you know or how it is that they feel that you are capable of making something happen when a sign is when a sign a planet whatever is in the 12th house this can bring a lot of delays being the fact that things are so hidden from plain sight you have to tap in on a very spiritual nature you have to go within you have to connect with spirit with god with divine whatever you want to call it and so that you can really see clearly but what it seems this 
it, it, it seems like a lot of healing has taken place for you and a lot of healing will continue to take place as you move forward in this space you know next year is not going to look anything like your life has ever looked because saturn is about to go into your sign everything's getting restructured just wait <laughs> it's gonna be great oh, what is this all right we got two cords aquarius yeah so you've really been in the thick of it really been connected tapped in tuned in because you have this, the council of light and you have the pillar of light so you've been supported and not only have you been supported your vibration has been rising your frequency your your connection to the divine your you've been leveling up from 3d to 5d to 7d okay just on a whole nother level people you're about to be ahead of a lot of people who really you're just about to be ahead okay and you are really supported and this healing is taking place from you taking place for you and whatever enemies that have been present whatever's been hidden from you whatever you've been hiding from yourself whatever ways you have been finding yourself in a illusion of emotions you know that have created these mental patterns these frequencies that distort the ways in which it is that we go about achieving reality that is dead okay so okay Aquarius I hope that was helpful Pisces last but not least slowly Pisces so Pisces this has been in your 11th house this is your long-term goals this is your big money this is your groups your friendships your humanitarian your efforts your community that you connect with um your higher knowledge you know that god mind uh people that you choose to be around so pisces there have may been a, may have been a stall or break in these kinds of relationships for you um this also has to do with longevity perhaps you have been needing to find new groups old things have been are no longer with you um and perhaps you've also had to take a look at who it is that you show up as in these spaces as well how it is that you have been showing up in the relationships it is that you have created through this even when it comes to your long-term goals how it is that you have really benefited or not benefited from how it is that you have been um showing up and who it is that you have been choosing to connect with and if they have been valuable to you or not you know so with saturn having going direct in your 11th house this is ace of pentacles so you are planting new seeds you may have already started planting new seeds and now these things are about to grow you know it's you are probably about to be experiencing a lot more people coming into your life um and offering you um help you know but these are going to be, be people that you can help as well it's not going to be someone who's just giving a handout um it's going to be a collaborative relationship of what it is that um you can offer to one another but also to the world to the community you know and being very um sure about that feeling with these relationships these, these goals they're going to be very grounded very stable um very and it's just going to be a matter of you nurturing this you nurturing yourself you, um because it feels like maybe that your health and since maybe it's been your mental health that has created this reality in whichever way it has been but you know you know the truth you hold the sword of truth what would you do if you weren't afraid how big would you take it how how um how much are you willing to give of yourself how many people are you willing to connect with you know 
how many people are you willing to put that mask down with? Because that's what Cap Capricorn is about, masks that we wear in order to be accepted, you know, because it's all about status with Capricorn. So perhaps you will be meeting those who offer you a status, a much higher status um, than you have received at this moment you know but it is a matter of nourishing and feeding what it is that you're building the relationships that you have connecting with people who make you feel grounded connecting with groups that make you feel grounded connecting in efforts that make you feel grounded you know that you feel you can find a sense of stability in you know, you're really supported. Spirit is on your side. You always have your guides, your ancestors, your angels, you know. Whoever it is that you connect with on a spiritual level, these people are there with you. And, you know, you are going to have a lot of genuine interest in who it is that you are, what it is that you're doing, what it is that you stand for, what it is that you're trying to bring forth in the world for others right because the 11th house is all about helping another person it's not it doesn't necessarily have to be about receiving because it's a humanitarian effort but um you will be coming in contact with more people that are of a give and take nature and not just hand. you're not handing out to anybody if no one's handing out to you so Pisces, I hope that was helpful. I hope that this has been something useful for all of you guys that um, it's something that you can take with you and really cultivate the space and get into the space it is that you need to be in to continue to manifest because Capricorn is all about making it real, okay? So I'm gonna pull a quick oracle card for all of us and see what's going on. Y'all, magic. What's so funny is, is that Capricorn is not a sign that you can like really implement magic with because um, you have to do the work. It wants the work. It wants to know that you know, that you understand how to make it happen, that you understand what has to be done in order to succeed and continue to succeed, right? But We've been recognizing that, we've been learning that, we see that, and now the magic is here for us to take into our hands, to create, to alchemize, to live, to love, to enjoy life. And it's really all up to us to make whatever choice it is that we are gonna make in order to move forward in fulfillment, move forward in, you know, just love, really, you know, so. Things are changing. We are not the people who we once were. New skin, looking brand new, all right? <laughs> Feeling brand new, acting brand new, you know, without the ego though. So, because ego will just keep you blocked. And that is a lot of Saturn where you've been blocking yourself, where you've been trying to, where you've been prideful and getting in your own way. So you guys, I'm so grateful that I was able to do this for y'all. I hope that it was helpful. Again, if you are in need of a reading, if you're seeking some guidance, um, a little bit of facilitation in where it is that you're headed, feel free to contact me and get a reading or check out my website, the link will be below, and you can see what readings that I have. I'll be on Instagram. I have a Facebook, but I don't use it. <laughs> My Instagram post, just go there and that's it. Um, but I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of the year and that you try your best to see that things will be better, that you do what is needed for you to really make life happen and not let the outside cloud what's going on within here you know really make your own decisions for yourself make your own choices for yourself so thank y'all for being here and i send you all my love and so many blessings Bye.